Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ programming session. In today's session, I'll be explaining you what is friend class and what is the need of friend class. In the previous video, I've explained you the use of friend function. Actually, friend keyword is one of the keywords being introduced in C++. Friend keyword can be used in two major places. One is to create a friend function that I've shown in previous video. And second one is to create friend class. First and foremost, the question comes, what is the use of creating a friend class when we have friend function? Okay, in friend function, we used to do a simple function which will be declared in both the classes and both will share their own data in and all that way that I have already explained. Then what is the need of friend class? In friend class, we simply do is we create the class. Here also we need more than one classes and any of the classes wants to make another class as a friend. Then whoever makes him as a friend, he can access all his data. More specifically, I can do, I can explain you with the example, then you'll understand it. For the scenario, I've created two classes, that is class A and class B. Okay, suppose class B wants class A's data, then it is the responsibility of class A's to give him the authority. Okay, it is something like I have some of my content or some piece of data or maybe some items with me. If someone else wants it from me, then he has to take permission from me to use it. Okay, the same happens in the concepts of the friend class also. That means the class B, who is the second class, want to access the data of class A. So it is the responsibility or you can say it is the A is the person who is going to authorize B that whether he can use his data or not. So we have to write friend class B in class A. You should remember it is very much confusing for many people. When I write in class A friend class B that means A is giving authority to B to access his private data in class B okay it didn't means that class a can access b's data unless and b also write that friend class a so in this scenario class a says yes i agree that class b is my friend so he can access my data privately my private data from his class also so to show this example i have created this let's understand this example first and foremost i hope so you have understood the scenario or why we need the friend class so first and foremost we need two classes so i've created class a which is having a private variable val a it is having a public two methods that is set and display okay set will uh, take one argument it will be assigned to val a and display is a method which displays the val a's value now class a says class b is my friend that means b can also access val a from from class b okay because a has given him the permission for class b it is having val b a variable which is the private it is having also having a set and display the same as class a okay before going into some function let's see what is happening class a is having an object called a obj and class b is having an object called b obj both of them set values into each other and it displays it now i want what b obj is having some value okay i want a's data to be combined with b's data that means b obj's whatever value that is 200 to be added with 100 how can I do it? I'm saying b obj dot sum and I'm passing a obj. So a obj is already having 100 value. So when I call sum function, which is one of the functions being declared in class B, it takes argument as a type that is of object of a class. So a obj will be copied into ta. What I want was b obj's value should be added with 100. So I write val b that is val b means whose val b? Who is calling it that is bobj is calling so bobj dot val b equal to val b whatever value was there plus ta dot val a now how can i access val a from here it is possible because a has given him the rights he can access private variables outside the class also only in the class b so b is being given the authority from a so this line is possible if i remove the previous line that is if if I remove this particular line, I'll be start getting errors that class A does not agrees that B is my friend then. Okay. So once I do that, then I run the program, then I'll get 200 plus 300. Let's try. I've already run it. I'll just once again compile and run it in front of you. I just compiled it and I run it. So first A was 100, then B's value was 200. Then I've added with the help of some function. After that, if I combine and I say display, then it shows the value is 300. 
this is how it works okay I hope so you have understood what I want to say if you want to see just I just remove for the temporary part time being I just remove class B's as a friend line now you will see that class B does not agree that he is to be your friend and if you still try to compile it okay we get an error that is it's a private and you can't access it okay so this is how the friend class helps us to access someone else private data in some other classes with the help of the concept of friend class okay so it has been compiled now after changing the line and it is giving output okay so in today's session we have seen what is the use of friend class how it can be used and what is the statement we have to write and with the coding we have tr I've tried to explain you how friend class exactly works in this scenario so in such scenarios you can use friend classes and some scenarios you can go for friend functions I hope so I've cleared your queries if you have still have any doubts you can comment on this video you can ask me on my email ID you can get all the codes from my blog that's we know the best dot wordpress dot com thank you and have a nice day